Hey, did you ever notice how some anglers always seem to catch bass on the riprap, no matter what time of the season it is? Today I want to go over some secrets to riprap fishing to help make you guys more successful at it. When I look at riprap before I start to fish it, the first thing I want to do is I kind of break it down. So I'm looking for some specific things. For example, is all the riprap boulder chunks the same size? Um, is there a high spot on the riprap? Is there an underwater finger that sticks out? Is there gravel spills? Because sometimes when they dump the gravel in on the riprap, some of it spills away and is actually on the bottom of the lake away from the actual riprap bank. I'm looking for these kind of changes in that riprap stretch, okay? So you can have channel swings. Uh, some of the real obvious things are bridges, tubes that go through a riprap bank. Those create current funnels. There's something gonna happen underwater that's gonna make one section of that riprap more effective than another. Once we understand high percentage areas and how to break down this massive wall of riprap, the most important thing is gonna be your casting angle. A, a lot of people have a tendency, they wanna cast right to the riprap and bring it back to the boat. But now you're only gonna be in the strike window for just a short length of time. So what I like to do, general rule of thumb, is I take a 45 degree angle or less to parallel. And that's this way I'm keeping my bait in the strike zone constantly. Now you gotta decipher a couple of things. Fish location. Are the fish right on the bank where the water meets the riprap? Are they two or three feet down? In other words, if you cast up to the riprap and you get a real turn and you catch one, they're right on the top, right where the rock meets the water. If you get a couple of real turns off the crankbait, they could be two to four feet down off of that rock slope, okay? The other thing that can happen is, especially in the early spring and late fall, the fish will suspend off the break as the riprap drops down the fish will suspend here the riprap drops down fish will suspend here that's prime time jerkbait parallel fishing these walls one of the most famous riprap stretches probably in the country is browns creek on lake gunnersville the 2020 classic was one there paralleling it with jerkbaits here again they figured out that the fish were using that riprap wall as a migration route into a spawning area, knew the fish were suspending, threw the suspending jerkbait on them, and won the Bassmaster Classic. The coolest thing about riprap is most of the time they always hold bass, they almost always hold bass in all of the fishing seasons. Now you could take some of this information that you just learned and apply it to the lakes near you. 